Uh, well, this year I come here to, uh, to Europe to work with Glenn Goldenhoff. So I've been traveling the world, as you know, for many years, to te teaching, coaching, and been really trying to educate the, the foundation of the sport, the bottom of the sport, meaning the amateurs, the kids, the vets, on how to ride these motorcycles uh, safer, better, uh, even faster. Because the technology of the motorcycle is improving, but the know-how and the education of the rider is not following, is not keeping up. So I feel like I'm here to bridge that gap. And this technique and this approach that I brought into motocross, you can see all the top riders using it now, you know, following it. And um, so it, it, it's kind of a, an honor to me. So last year I was doing a school and I put something on an Instagram because I, I teach a lot through there. And Glenn wrote me a message saying, hey man, thank you so much for what you do. I really follow what you say and, and believe in everything you say. And I say, wow, thank you. It means a lot coming from a rider like you. So I said, hey, if you ever need any help, this and that, let me know. I'd, I'd be interested in, in working with you. Message back, hey, you want to come to Spain for a week while I'm testing? All right, I go there. Two days later, we agreed to do the GPs. So we hit it off quite well. Uh, Glenn is a super, super nice kid. Very focused, very disciplined, uh, listens to everything I say. And um, so it's kind of a, a good match for me. You know what I mean? Takes good, very good care of me when I came here and made it easy for that transition because I left everything at home. You know, I left, I left family, I left kids, I left home, I left lovers, I, missed, I left it all at home. <laughs> so now I, I come here and um, so it's good to have somebody kind of set you in the right places. So it's, it's good and it's good to be back in the GPs. You know, it's been, uh, it's been 20 years, you know, since yes. I raced the GPs or my last donations was in, uh, no, the last donations was 2003 okay. in, in Belgium. So it's good to come back and I see the progression, I see the professionalism of it. And then everybody here has been, uh, you know, with welcome arms, so it's, 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 it's good. You know, of course, you know, it's not the best time to have a GP, but as you see today, the weather's perfect and the track will come out to be absolutely perfect today. So, you know, and again, you can have, you can have, a, you know, you can have a GP in the summertime and think no rain, but then you have this huge monsoon come in. So it's the only thing that's different right now is just the cold because it can rain at any time of the year. And so, you know, that's part of racing, that's part of motocross, and, um, but I think they've done a very good job. They are smart with the track, not digging it up. And again, it's gonna turn out to be an amazing weekend, so it's good. You know, everybody can do the jumps, everybody can do the, the straightaways, it's the turns. And every turn here is gonna be inconsistent. So the tighter you are, the more brakes you're using, the faster you try to be, the more inconsistent those turns are gonna be. So we need to meet those turns with proper technique, proper approach, so we have smooth, clean corners and fast exits. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna make you go fast today. Is it gonna win the race? I don't know. There's many different uh, aspects of it, but it's the first moto, the first GP of 18 or 19 or whatever it is. So the the, the series cannot be won today, but it certainly can be lost today. So we're just taking one step at a time. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna improve and get fitter and faster as the year improves. Not try to come into the year already maxed out. Because if you're maxed out, there's only one way to go, and that's down. So. We're looking to grow, grow, grow. And again, I've only been here for two weeks, so I'm on the uh, outskirts a little bit, just making sure I understand how Glenn works instead of pushing my way too much, and then just kind of fine tune him as he goes. So, yeah, so it's good. Yeah, I grew up, uh, I was born and raised in Escondido. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah. Carlsbad was my local track. Uh, yeah. So when I raced, I used to dry, ride my bicycle from my house oh, really? to Carlsbad, do two motos, and then ride my bicycle home. <laughs>